Hey guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday and we are tackling a whole bunch of amazing topics this month. It is our third year group's anniversary. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to get that all, all out correctly. Um, anyways, I just want to give you some updates and reminders because we've been putting out um, posts since last Thursday just to keep you guys updated and reminded about all the wonderful things that we're focusing on this month. Um, so keep an eye out for the free application for the scholarship program that will be going out every Friday um, for three weeks, which gives you the opportunity to apply for our 90 day unstuck group coaching program. So keep an eye out for that and put your application in and maybe you'll win. That's so exciting. And then every Sunday this month, we uh, created a 30 page anniversary PDF recipe booklet. So if you guys share our information, um, basically inviting people to the group, so inviting friends and colleagues um, and family members, you can post our group's um, address and uh, information on your personal page on Facebook, and then just come back to the Sunday post that um, gives you all the important directions on how to do that and say done, then we will send you off the 30 page anniversary recipe booklet. And the recipe booklet was designed for um, lifestyles that are very busy, so quick and easy. And uh, we've got our, of course, our amazing lives posted on Wednesdays and Fridays for you guys with some fantastic topics for the month. And then we also posted two challenges this month. We posted the fitness challenge, which is set up like a boot camp style, and you can pick and choose your exercises and create, um, create your program, which is a lot of fun. And we also incorporated challenge number two, which is a uh, walking challenge. Um, and that's put up in PD PDF format. So it's actually a nice little free package that we put out for you guys um, to download and, and use anytime you want. All right, guys. So today, um, oh, actually, before I move on, um, I always say up above, underneath our banner, there's a section called guides and guides has everything so nicely organized. Um, I take a lot of time to organize all the, um, the categories that we focus on here in the group. And then I categorize everything into files for you guys so that it is easy to find all the lives in one section. It's easy to find anything to do um, with our programs or our testimonials, all our recipes. We have like 80 some odd recipes, um, all the challenges, all the things. So you don't have to like scroll through the feed to try to find things. So if you go to guides up above underneath the banner and click on that you and you scroll you can see all the categories and then you click on the category and then it'll pull up all the um, the files that we've collected over the last three years um, underneath that particular category. Okay, now let's get on with it. So I pulled, surveyed everybody at the end of May to find out what kinds of topics and things you guys want to hear about this month. And we talked, uh, one of the categories was exploring biohacking. So we're going to tackle that this week. And throughout the course of the month, every Wednesday, we post um, habits every Wednesday. And then every Wednesday with that habits post, there'll be one biohacking tip um, to implement into your into your lifestyle. So 
Um, biohacking is a pretty new word out there. That's why I decided to kind of tackle it because essentially um, inside our coaching programs and the things that we teach um, in our do-it-yourself programs, in our um, coaching programs, things like that, we teach habit stacking and we actually teach micro habit stacking and that's something that coach penny and i have co-created um so yeah like habit stacking is out there but the it's the how coach penny and i teach it it's the system that we've um created to help the clients grasp it better and um make it stick and that's the key thing now biohacking is a nice fancy pants word for implementing things into your lifestyle. And we're going to get into that actually just during this short little presentation. Okay. So, um, first of all, biohacking is, um, intentional in a um, systematic way to optimize your body and mind through things like science, technology, and lifestyle modifications. So if you just want to kind of like just keep it very simple. Lifestyle modifications comes with making modifications or making habit changes that support you um, in the lifestyle is opposed to making decisions and reinforcing bad habits that don't support you. And a lot of the time our clients, you know, or people, pre clients, people that, you know, come to us and they want to talk about programming and what kinds of programs, you know, best suit them, whether it be our, our best, you know, free resource, our do it yourself programs or our coaching programs, you know, they come and they have goals, right? But the habits that they're currently doing in the lifestyle is preventing them from hitting their goals. So then this is where we get into that vicious cycle of, well, I haven't changed in over six months. I haven't changed in over 20 years. I'm still the same. I keep gaining weight. I'm not taking it off or I lose some and then I gain it all back plus more, or I'm, you know, severely inflamed. My arthritis is bad. Whatever the case is, it's endless what the symptoms and problems and challenges are but when we actually look at the habits, okay, the habits, <laughs> we look at, Coach Penny and I look at what are you doing to move towards the goals that you're trying to get? And what are you doing to move further away from them, which is causing the problems to be worse? So this is where we come into a fancy pants word, like I said, called biohacking. So you're looking at things like science and technology and lifestyle modifications that help um, control the things that are happening in your biology. So we look at these things and then we tweak them in a micro way to help you get better performance, well-being, and longevity. So how can you start biohacking? <laughs> so simple. So simple, but yeah, so challenging. I say that very lately, of course. Um, begin with small changes. So, you know, one of the big key things that Coach Penny and I talk about in, in our habit stacking programs and the things that we've developed to help our clients go from point A to point B, you know, we start by incorporating small things, manageable changes. Sometimes, you know, it's easier said than done. So as an example, you may read on the internet, um, oh, just make this change. So like there's lots of different ideas and, and examples out there to make change, but the problem is it's hard, hard. So what that means is that you can look at something and say, yeah, I can do that, but then you never do it. Or maybe you try it and then you fall off of doing it and just slips away and then it's forgotten about, which is a very common practice. So this is why we're addressing it so that when we look at a habit change, we say, okay, well, you know, in, as an example in our program, if we're saying, okay, to a client, well, this client comes to us and they have um, 
cravings and cravings in the mid afternoon and after dinner are a very, 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 very common thing that we see habitually turn up in almost everybody's biggest challenges. So of course we have multiple different things that we implement into a person's help them implement into a person's lifestyle to make that change. But do we do it all at once? No. So what we look at is one thing first. So we do an analysis. Of course, we look at the journal, we look at the nutrition, we look at the emotions, different things. And then we see which area we're, you know, we're going to tweak a little bit, a micro tweak, and then the client tries it out. So this is where the small manageable changes come in. So, you know, such things as like optimizing sleep or closing big gaps between meals, skipping meals, drinking coffee before um, before breakfast, things like this can have some big significant changes in symptoms that you're experiencing as an example. So trying new some new some new nutritional approaches that is super super confusing because there are so many recommendations there's so much out there in the information highway there's so many you know diet plans and things like that the industry really knows how to um, use specialized marketing keywords and things to get people to jump on the bandwagon the problem is the diet industry quote unquote is one of the biggest failing industries in the world, but yet makes billions of dollars. So is that failure or success? Well, it's failure for you, but it's success for them. So uh, <laughs> that's not exactly, you know, a great outcome. It's not a desirable outcome for you. So when we talk, when Coach Penny and I talk about the various things that we talk about, we are essentially setting the clients up for success. And this is where, quote unquote, quote unquote, this fancy pants biohacking word comes in. Um, we teach, you know, these these manageable micro changes. And when you hiccup in the program, we're there to say, OK, we're there to question it and say, OK, well, what is happening here? And then this is where the mental fitness comes in. So this is where Coach Penny dives in and helps make some tweaks in the mental, emotional part of you to help you hurdle over that part that has been a sticking point for maybe years that you have not you know, come to realize. So this is where we look at experimenting with mindful practices. And like I mentioned, with the mental fitness, that's what we call it here in our program and our three pillars, our three pillars consists of intuitive nutrition, mental fitness, and um, uh, movement mastery. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, you know, mindful practices are, are super key and being a person who's listening to me talk about this right now, you're probably in a position of being very inexperienced and understanding what experiencing with mindful practices looks like, what small manageable changes look like, because you're used to making big leaps or big changes all at once and then failing and then feeling pretty horrible about that. So, you know, we're meant to be here in our free group shop in our free group to help you with some of those things, but then we're also here to service you um, through our do-it-yourself programs, our best free resources, and our paid coaching programs to help you move through that, to help you identify those things. And then when you move on from the experience inside the program, you can then figure it out for yourself. You, you have a better understanding of how your body operates how it works and these realizations are absolutely you know mind-blowing so educating yourself is super key staying informed about the latest research technologies and lifestyle practices oh my god there's so many like i was saying it's so confusing right so that's why we have our free group we you know specialize in certain things we we try to help you streamline some of these things and we also understand that every person is different and individual. 
So as an example, I talked about diets before, you know, diets aren't going to fit everybody. They don't really fit a lot of people, if you know what I mean. And I mean, if you can raise your hand and say, yeah, you know, I've tried like 10 diets over my lifetime, you know, it, right. It just doesn't work because the mindset, the mind, the mindset, the mindfulness, um, that part of it is missed, you know, it's misinterpreted. It's not understood. You know, you kind of need that bird's eye view, like somebody looking at things saying, okay, like, Hey, this is happening in your lifestyle. This is what we need to tackle and organize and help figure out. So, you know, a lot of the time, you know, looking at the latest research, a lot of you guys don't have time for that. That's our job. We do that. The technologies, same thing. How, like, seriously, like how confusing is that? And the lifestyle practices, you know, a lot of the time, the key lifestyle practices, which Coach Penny and I call the key fundamentals for life, um, are super important when it comes to making changes. And we systematically put these fundamentals into each person's um, lifestyle. And again, we go back to doing those micro tweaks with those fundamentals to see how it really works for each individual person. So listening to your body is another super duper key point because a lot of people are actually very detached from their bodies so like their mind is like like a racing crazy person marathoner and the body's like hey like it's like sending out all these like red hot signals and you know we're just ignoring them and so there's a, a serious detachment here and um paying attention to how your body responds and then you know intervening with that, with things that are showing up is super important, but then what are those things? And then what works? Now, a lot of you try things, but you don't try them long enough or understand what implementing something and then what the result is, because then the result sometimes, or most of the time, I should say, because a lot of the time I'm the one who's analyzing these parts of it, um, are completely misunderstood or misinterpreted um, in some fashion, in some way. So what I mean by that, and I'll just give an example. Um, a client will say to me, um, so if I've been tracking their, their progress and their, their food journals, like their nutritional journals and their emotional status for say six months or eight months, and I see and understand all the patterns. And at the same time, Coach Penny and I are helping them understand their patterns so that when they move on from the program, they can they can manage their own patterns because they're, you know, they're patching things along the way. They're catching and understanding how their body works and how um, stress, you know, changes and manipulates things or, or whatever the case is. And then getting on to, you know, fixing that or correcting it quicker or being more resilient, things like this. But um, a client can be a little bit detached, especially in the early parts where, you know, they have these cravings as an example. And this is the, this is the body, this is the detachment from the head, from the body, you know, I'm having these cravings, but I fulfill those cravings with eating something like junk food. Okay. Maybe that looks like a bag of chips. Maybe that looks like a chocolate bar or something like really carby. You know, it could be like a, a really horrible ingredient <laughs> muffin or something. It's usually carbs because the carbs are, the processed carbs are like, they're, they're high in sugar, right? They're high in the glycemic index. And that's a quick satisfactory fix for the brain. So then you fix that. But then what happens is your waistline just keeps growing because of because of these habits and choices. But there's a disconnect. So we have the symptom, which is the craving. We're not understanding why we're having that. We are kind of listening, but we're fulfilling it in a in a in a wrong way with something um, that's you know highly processed as an example. 
and then we're getting a negative result. So it's learning to understand, okay, well, I'm having this craving, but why am I having this craving? So then we come in with those key fundamentals and say, okay, so let's implement this and we're going to start with this first and then we're going to see if you get this craving so if you're getting this craving and you're still get, you implement this and you're still getting this craving okay so then we build on that so we add in something else another small change and then we start to notice that this craving starts to diminish and go away because we have we have implemented some key fundamentals over here in a micro fashion to help eliminate the symptom over here. So this is learning to listen to the body and understand how it's speaking to you. So we get your, your head and your body back connected so that you're drawing, you're learning to draw those parallels. So that's that's a lot about listening to the body. And, it, and that comes in many different um, shapes and forms. The principles of biohacking. So self-experimentation is, is, yeah, it's huge. Like I was just saying, you know, we take some, Coach Penny and I take the key fundamentals that we've co-created together. And, you know, we, t we experiment with you as a person. Experimenting. What the hell? What do you mean experimenting? Well, like I said in the beginning of the conversation, um, you are an individual. So we have the key fundamentals. We do some tweaking and micro changing. Well, we're going to get an X, Y, Z um, result with you. So we know based on all the experimenting and testing and things that we've done with the various clients over the many years, 25 plus years of, of working with people that we know when we, you know, implement certain things that we should get this result. So, you know, understanding your body better, and that's that's basically what we're teaching you. That's what that's what you're looking at. You're seeing your body transform when we make these cool changes with you. And then we say, okay, so you did this and you got this result. So you know how to fix this when this ever crops up again for you, right? Because I'm going to tell you, life is not perfect. But if you understand the key fundamentals and the pillars that we teach, not only, you know, in, in our free stuff and our do-it-yourself programs and our coaching programs, you have the keys for life. Because once you understand that parallel, you correct it. So when you get a little bit off track, there's the imperfect life, which we all lead imperfect lives. When we get, we stray from that, you know, that lifestyle, brand new lifestyle that we've been working so hard on, we stray a bit from it. Our body's going to be like, hey, 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 those signs will punch you in the stomach. And you'd be like, oh, hey, I need to pull back. This is where I need to be over here. Oh, I need to fix it. I need to reel that in a little bit. Right. That makes sense. Right. Like self-experimentation. So involving like some of the key things that I've just spoke about, you know, tracking sleep patterns, tracking and monitoring nutrition. It's so important. It gives us a lot of amazing information about you as a person. Optimization. The goal is not to just fix what's broken, but to continually optimize it. So this is, again, where I've talked up to this point about refining, adding in micro changes. And we just keep tweaking and tweaking. So in the fundamentals, we give you like some very key things to work towards optimizing. So as an example, you guys will always hear us talk about eating adequate amounts of meat protein. So I did a I did a protein talk a few sessions ago and I talked about, okay, like I say, we'll just say a 130 pound woman would be eat 130 grams of protein. Now that's a that's a rounded number based on weight. Okay? So that can that can be a little bit higher based on what that person is working on or doing or trying to achieve. So weight training and strength training is is another key thing that coach Penny and I talk about all the time and we say that strength training is so important for women. So then in that case, we would look at increasing the protein intake to make it higher to sustain the muscle mass that you're building and maintaining. I'm not saying that it's going to turn you into a bodybuilder or a lean, mean fighting machine. I'm just saying that 
biologically, you need a certain amount of protein in order to maintain that muscle mass that you're trying to build on, that you're trying to work so damn hard to gain and get and keep. All right. Okay, so uh, last point here, personalization. So biohacking, recognizing that one size does not fit all, which I've already mentioned a million times in this conversation. I hope you guys picked up on that. What works for one person may not work for another. And that's, again, where we talked about the key fundamentals, the key pillars, and that about discovering, you know, adding in these micro changes and then seeing what those, how they react to your symptoms. So individualized um, approaches to wellness is super, super key. So I'm going to leave it at that for today. Um, I have flapped my gums quite a bit about that. And I really hope that this clears up. If you start hearing that word biohacking in the industry, that it simply means um, exactly what Coach Penny and I talk about when it comes to um optimizing health in the various different pillars. Okay, so just remember guys, if you have questions, pop them in the comments below. You you guys are also more than welcome to private message Penny and I if you don't want to pop a pub like a question in a public space, that's cool too. Um take part in all the great anniversary gifts that we're doing for the month of June. We're super excited about that. And again, just give us a like and what was your primary takeaway from today's session? Please do share that with us and we'll see you back here real soon. Take care. Bye for now.